everybody. Today's devotional comes from James chapter 1 and verse 3. It is an astonishing verse. James writes this. He says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. I don't think there's even one of us that would often put pure joy and trials together in the same sentence. And yet here James says, when you're approaching trials, they're not something to be prayed away. They're not something to be wished away. They're not something to be hated but endured. He says they are to be considered pure joy. They're something to be embraced. Why would James say something like this? Why would he say consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds? Well, the very next phrase says this, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. You know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Um, at the moment at home, we do exercises every afternoon, 4.30, most afternoons, 4.30. The family heads out onto our lawn and we go and do some exercises. And the thing about resistance training, that kind of exercise, is that it's putting your muscles under trial so that they can grow. And even if you're not aiming to be a bodybuilder, that is very, very good for your muscles. It keeps them growing, keeps them developed, keeps them uh, active and useful to you. And in the same way, the muscles of faith and the muscles of perseverance that are so necessary for us are exercised only by trials. Perseverance and resilience do not come during the easy times. When everything's going fine, life's going along rosy, we can't develop perseverance and we can't develop resilience. And those things are so essential for us to live this life of faith that God's called us to do. So James has flicked the lens on trials. He viewed them as being joyful and something to be embraced because they were the only seasons in which the muscles of perseverance could be developed. I have no idea what current trials you're going through. I know for some people you're facing massive, massive challenges and for others just minor daily irritations and frustrations. And James says we should approach trials of all kinds by embracing them, considering them joyful, not because of them feeling good, they don't, but because we can see the end result, the development of our faith, the development of our perseverance, development of resilience. God does things inside of us in times of trial that he can never do during times of ease and comfort. I trust you have an amazing day. God bless.